The trip to Echo Spring is about six big American authors. It's about Ernest Hemingway, F. Scott Fitzgerald, Tennessee Williams, Raymond Carver, these sort of strong American figures. And I came to them initially because I fell in love with Tennessee Williams' Cat on a Hot Tin Roof. That was sort of the foundation text for me. So Tennessee Williams was vital, and then I wanted to have other people who had a sort of a relationship to him, not necessarily knew him, but they had similar, they were from the same century, they had similar sorts of lives. And the other thing that's important to say is that I wanted to have six writers that I genuinely loved. Because the material of the book is dark, it was important that they were really people who I thought were extraordinary. There were all kinds of wonderful anecdotes that I turned up as I was digging through archives, digging through diaries. And one of my favourites, and what I actually used to start the book, is an encounter between John Cheever and Raymond Carver, which happens when they're both teaching at the University of Iowa. And John Cheever is a very well-known, respected author at this point, and Raymond Carver is a, a young writer, a sort of up-and-coming writer, very shy and they are both enormous drinkers. They're both really hitting danger points in their alcoholism. And Ray McCarver's in his room, and there's a little knock at the door, and it's John Cheever, his hero. And he comes in and he says, do you have any vodka that I could borrow? And Ray McCarver's immediately like, okay, we're gonna be friends. And this starts this year-long drinking relationship that is just fascinating to me because these are two huge figures in American letters and here they are in this sort of small town drinking themselves into a grave almost. And they both do manage to recover later which makes it more humorous than it might have been. Out of the six writers that I was looking at, I really fell for Tennessee Williams. He was the one that I felt most softness around. He really struggled in his life and I also thought he was an incredibly courageous man. He was an out gay man at a period when that was very difficult to do and his writing is wonderful but he also carried on writing until the day he died in very punishing circumstances and I thought that was so admirable.